YouTube, it's Mortimer, and today I'm here to do another Halloween makeup tutorial for you guys. If you can't tell, today I'm doing a cat. And I'm really excited about this one because this is probably my number one go-to like makeup when I'm going to like a Halloween party or something and I don't have a costume. This is like what I always gravitate towards. Because um, it's super easy, anybody can do this, anybody can find cat ears at the dollar store or like Walmart or wherever. So this is a tutorial that anybody can do. You don't have to be a girl, you could be a guy, just anybody and I'm gonna list down below everything that I use in this tutorial so you guys can see what all products I use but feel free to substitute with whatever you have you don't have to have like what I have to do this tutorial you can use whatever eyeliner and makeup that you have at home so if you guys have any questions or comments go ahead and leave those down below but I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the tutorial bye guys okay so this is what I look like with just my tinted moisturizer on um, and the contacts I have are from PinkyParadise.com. They're their cat eye contacts. They're really cool, but I have an astigmatism in both eyes, so the cat eyes seem to go sideways on me. Uh, so now I'm putting on a base. This is just my foundation base, and I'm going to have it linked down below. If you're interested in any other products I'm using, I'm going to have them listed there. Uh, now I'm putting on a bronzer just to sculpt my face. I'm putting it on the lower side of my cheekbones to kind of make my face look a little bit thinner. And then I'm also going to be putting it on like my eye sockets and the sides of my nose um, just to make my nose look thinner and a little bit on the bottom of my nose to make it look not quite so long. I'm also going to be putting a little bit of the bronzer around my chin uh, just to define my jaw and make my face look a little bit more defined. I really recommend doing this kind of face sculpting anytime you're doing any type of makeup. It really does make a difference. All right, and I'm putting a little bit as well along the top of my forehead just to kind of give a little bit more dimension to my face. Next, I'm using my blush. I'm using this nice coral shade and I'm putting it right on the tops of my cheekbones and I'll put a little bit on the end of my nose just to give myself a little bit of a rosy nose. Next, I'm taking my highlighter and I'm putting it above my eyebrows on both sides and I'm going to put it below my eyebrows as well just to really make my eyebrows pop and to make that brow really defined. Next, I'm going to put a little bit on the inside corners of my eyes. This is to make my eyes look bigger and I'm blending that out towards the center of my eyes. Next, I'll put a little bit on my cheekbones. Uh, just giving me a little bit of a dewy look and a little bit down the bridge of my nose just to make my nose look really shimmery and to complement all the highlighting. Next I'm going to set it all with my setting powder. Uh, this just takes a second. I really recommend it. It's probably one of the most important parts of your makeup regime. It really blends everything together and makes it stay in one place. Alright, so next I'm taking a smudge brush and I'm putting on a brown bronze eyeshadow. And I'm going to be blending this all over my eyelid, all the way up to the crease, and then a little bit over the side of my face, like towards my temple. Um, and then a little bit underneath my eye just to give a little bit of a smoky look. And I'm going to be building on this later with a darker color. So I really want this to blend as much as I can. Same on the other side, just going to keep blending that color. And you can use any brown, bronze, smoky color you have at home. We'll just about do the same thing. And once again, blending that into the temple on the side of my eye just to kind of make this all blend together for this really cool cat eye I'm going to be doing. Next, I'm taking that darker brown color and I'm using a little bit more of a tapered eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be brushing that onto my crease in the corner of my eye. This is just a little bit of a darker brown than the previous color I used and I'm going to be putting that down on the bottom of my eye as well and making sure I can blend it all into the previously applied brown. And same for the other side. Just applying it to the crease in the outside corner of my eye and blending out. Alright, so next I'm going to be taking a white eyeliner. I'm going to be lining the inner rim of my eyes. This is also going to help make my eyes look very large and cat-like. I really recommend this step. It really does make a difference. Okay, and now I'm going to be taking my Stila Stay All Day Black Eyeliner and I'm going to be making a cat eye because what cat look would be complete without a cat eye? And you just start from the outer corner of your eye, line inward, and then start coloring in those lines you place. Drag it all the way across your eyelid and 
then do the same on the other side. I don't really line the bottom of my eye as much as I do the top of my eye. This also is to hide any mistakes that could be made while applying my fake eyelashes because it hides it very well. Also, don't forget the inner corner of your eye. It's very important to getting that cat eye shape. Alright, so now I'm going to put on a little bit of mascara just to get rid of all the makeup that may have landed on my lashes. Any kind of mascara will do. And now I'm going to put a little bit more black under my eyes because I wasn't quite satisfied with how smudgy and black it was. So I'm just smudging a little bit more black around the rims of my eyes just to give them a little bit more of that mysterious, smoky cat eye look. Blend, 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 blend. Okay, so next I am running a spoolie through my eyebrows, so I'm getting ready to fill them in, and I'm filling them in with an Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencil. Um, just filling and shaping them, making sure they have a high arch. Um, this is just basically part of my everyday eyebrow like routine, but why not do it for this as well? Uh, so I'm just filling it in and shaping, and then I'm going to be taking a tinted brow gel and running that over them when I'm done. Alright, and I'm running the tinted brow gel through my eyebrows. This is to hold them in place all night, so if you're out all night partying or trick-or-treating or whatever you're doing, they don't melt off and kind of look weird. Next I'm taking my eyelashes and these are these huge drag queen eyelashes. I really love the way these are on my eyes. I just apply a little bit of glue to the edges and then I'm going to place and hold. Um, they're very easy to apply for me, but that's only because I've been doing fake eyelashes for a really long time. Um, if you're interested in seeing a more in-depth tutorial on how to apply eyelashes, please check out my past videos because it's one of my better tutorials. And same goes for the other side, just place and hold. I usually trim my eyelashes to fit my eye shape, but not these. I wanted them to look very overgrown and dramatic. Why go for an everyday look if you're going to wear fake eyelashes? Alright, so now I'm going to take a black eyeliner pencil and I'm going to be coloring in my cat nose. This stuff is completely optional, but I don't think it looks quite cat-like unless it has the nose. Sure enough, I have the ears and the eyes, but it just adds a little bit more to it. I don't know. Personally, I like it. And if you don't like it, go ahead and skip it. Uh, but I'm just filling in the bottom part of my nose with a little bit of black eyeliner. And now you're all set for an office party or a night on the town or wherever it was you were looking to wear this tutorial. So that's the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it's something easy and fun and anybody can do this and I hope somebody out there uses it for Halloween or a costume party or, or whatever you guys are looking for this tutorial for. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. And please don't forget to subscribe. I have new videos up all the time and I look forward to seeing you all again real soon. Bye everybody!